Welcome back to another weapon build video, and today we're going to be looking at the Kuva Czar. Finally got my hands on this weapon, and I'm very excited to actually review this weapon because this weapon is actually insane, way better than the original Czar. And I have to say, I really, really do love this weapon more than, um, well, some of these weapons. Uh, so, definitely I'm going to be using this for a while. So, comparing it to the original Czar, the original Czar and the Kuva Czar, the Kuva Czar has more crit chance. It has the same critical multiplier. Uh, better fire rate on the Kuva. Magazine is better on the Kuva, which that, that magazine is actually, you know, really good. All right, it comes in handy. It's really useful. Instead of just three times, uh, three, a three magazine than before because just reloading so many times was just annoying. And you're still doing that, but that extra two clip magazine is just actually really nice. So I'm glad they actually increased that. The reload is a bit lower. All right, um, or higher, I should say, but that makes it harder to reload. So that's where cool, the Czar has better a reload. And the status is 31%, so it's had a higher status, which is also really good. Um, impact damage is low on the uh, original Czar. Everything else from below is actually really good. Really nice uh, crit chance on a barrage. Fire rate is low. Um, the credit multiplier is the same. Reload, this nearly the same, I guess. Status, better. Base damage on the barrage is way better. So, or no, actually, no. The Czar has a better barrage damage. Has more damage than the Kuva Czar. But the Kuva Czar still has really good stats overall. So, I think that's something I don't really care about. Um, but... Yeah, today we're going to be reviewing the Czar, and I'm going to change all this, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I changed the names to the builds because I want to... I separated from Cannon to Barrage, alright? So, one is going to be doing more damage than the other because I have separated those two. So, first started off with the Cannon build. The Cannon has serration, the Galvanized Chamber, the Heavy Caliber, the High Voltage... Uh, galvanized amplitude, the hammer shot, malignant force, vital sense. All right, so we have the corrosive, 60 60 mod status chance, and all that, and the really good galvanized mods. We also have the primary merciless on this build as well. So it does actually good damage. It, I really, like I said, I really like it. I'm enjoying it a lot. It can do insane damage without a ribbon, to be honest. Especially for a cannon, uh, it can definitely do insane damage without a ribbon. But that ribbon choice is always up to you. Um, everybody prefers a ribbon, so I'm not gonna say that ribbons doesn't make it better, because it does. But I, like I said, I, I really think you don't really need a ribbon. I said ribbon. Riven for this weapon because this weapon is actually amazing does a lot of damage um, For barrage for this one. I mainly built it for a cannon But as you can see right now, it's still doing more damage for a barrage um, But the fact is even though we're in similar crumb You're still gonna be doing damage and still path. So really there's no difference so yeah, that's barrage right there. You see the damage. It's actually really good. I enjoy it a lot. Time for the second build. We have the same thing, but we have galvanized scope. And did I have hammer shot another one? Yes, I did. Uh, we just have viral this time because well, it's gonna come in handy. All right, we can obviously put this in here. I just wanted this in here because Prime Merciless does reload speed, more fast reload speed. Um, the damage, obviously, the ammo maximum, good. Um, very much needed for a cannon that has a low um, ammo maximum. Very low. And I know this only goes up to 5, you know, 5 magazine. But still something that's needed. But you can always switch it out for that. So we're going to try that since we have have Merciless on the other one. But this thing actually... Oh, nope. That's not it. 
this thing orange crits like crazy and it has good slash damage like I said it has its whole base damage there so this thing is like a murder weapon right here especially for barrage so yeah this thing is going to be at least one shotting everything especially with the arcane because the arcane has um, 30% damage of headshot multiplier so yeah you're gonna be stacking up damage obviously with the arcane and the headshot multiplier that you get from when you have it on rank 5 Ooh, we just saw red crits there as well because of that argon the galvanized scope so yeah you're gonna be doing a lot of damage with the the uh, barrage with this build now I need to show you obviously one more thing before we get into that for cannon does it is it good to work on cannon well probably not because the fact is this thing you need to uh shoot it shoot your hit your targets in the head but you know cannon is just cannon work oh, wow that's crazy i didn't expect it to to actually do damage that is insane Yeah, it's, it's doing damage. Holy crap. Well, I'm, I'm pretty amazed. I think this is one of my best builds for this weapon. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Alright, well, yeah, you guys just let me know. What do you think about these two builds in the comments below? Both of these work, obviously. We tried it out. You can either keep primary deadhead or primary merciless, whatever you want. I don't really care what you use. The arcane is just really up to you. But, yeah, just let me know what you think in the comments below about these two builds. If you did not enjoy it, then don't say nothing at all. Is this weapon good to take to the steel path? Most definitely. It is murdering enemies like crazy. And I'm using the first build. Alright, the cannon build because that's what I'm going to be using because cannon is supposed to do so much damage and it does. Alright, it has a massive upgrade. It works very well with the galvanized amplitude because that is the um, condition overload mod right there. That's supposed to do damage affecting the status type to the enemy. So, I gotta say, definitely the Czar is going to be the best weapon probably in Warframe right now. Even though people are going to say no because of the Tenant Envoy. Nearly, not a cannon, but a rocket launcher. That's going to do more insane damage than anything else. But, I still have to give it to the Tsar because the Tsar has a massive upgrade, which I do love. And I'm surprised this weapon has upgraded itself or they actually gave it an upgrade so yeah you guys let me know what you think about the cool bizarre in the comments below if you did enjoy the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe subscribe if you're new to the channel follow me on all social medias and twitch links are in the description thank you so much for watching love you guys and i'll see you in the next video